Okay, so uh, I'm going to document how to fade the background music in VideoPad. Um, so I'm on my master sequence. I have the, the background audio track. Uh, if I click on the background audio track <clears throat> and then look at the clip review, uh, what I'm going to what I'm going to describe is how to, to 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 put these things that are fade points. Where do you put them? And 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 uh, so so what I did was there's a clip. Um, there's a there's a couple of uh, soundtrack clips that I have. Um, I've already figured out where they occur in the main sequence, the time on the master sequence. Um, and so I've already gone ahead and so at 15, uh, 15, 16, uh, 0.041, there's a transition. There's a transition between um, what comes slightly before it. There's a couple of uh, slides. Uh, this is the slide directly before it. Um, and then we, then we switch into... Um, a Saturday Night Fever montage, and there's background music that plays, and I want the want the the background music for the the, the, the video for the for this for these clips. So let me show you what it looks like before we fade out the background, and then how to fade out the background, and then what it sounds like after. So here's so the background music is still playing, and it's at its constant volume. Okay, the problem with that is there's two sound soundtracks going on there. There's a, there's a music soundtrack from uh, Saturday Night Fever playing on top of the overall background music, um, and it's and it's distracting and it's difficult to tell. It's difficult to hear the the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack music. So what I want to do is fade out the background music while this little clip is, is playing. So what I first did was I looked at the beginning and end times of when the clip is on. So this clip will end at 15.23. Okay, so what I want to happen is the background music will fade out and then the, the Saturday Night Fever music will play and then the background music will fade back up at the conclusion of the clip. Okay, so how do we accomplish that? All right, well, what we do is we put focus on the audio clip and so that the clip preview that we'll look at will be the background audio music. Like I said before, we found the times that we need to fade out and fade in. We're supposed to fade out at 15 minutes, 16.041 seconds, and then it should be faded back in by 1523.880. So the fade in time, or I'm sorry, the fade out time has to be 15, 16. So let's go to 15, 16, and this cursor, this position cursor, will, will change to whatever position I, I type in here. And I'm going to type in, um, okay, so we've moved. So this represents where on the background clip, and I'm going to zoom in using the mouse wheel. Okay, so let's get to the exact time that I found by previewing the master sequence. And it was 1516.041. So let me type in 041. It's going to reposition this cursor. I'm going to put a fade point by just clicking on, on the intersection of this red line and this background. Um, that, at that point is where we want to... We want to uh, that's where the clip starts. That's where the, the, the background music needs to be faded out by. So what I tend to do is I go one second before this so that I get a one second fade out. So now what I'll do is 15, 15. And now this, this position cursor will jump to the left. It jumps pretty far to the left actually because I'm zoomed in so much. Um, but here, let me zoom in more and then just enter this, this again. Um, Okay, so now what I need to do is put another fade point in. So now these two fade points are one second apart. Um, and then what I want to do is I want to keep the volume steady and then fade over one second and have it down, have, have the volume down to a minimum value at this point. And I go down to 35 
the gain of 35, 35.43 is good. So now what this has done is it says there's a one second fade out and then by this time, um, this time right here is that, is that transition time. Um, and now what I do is basically, uh, this now is at 35 gain and the clip is playing during this. So what I really need to do now is go to one second before the end time which the end time I figured out by looking at the, at the master sequence was uh, 1523.880. So what I'm going to do is set another fade point at 1522, one second earlier, so that I can start fading up. And so what I do, what I do now is I go to 1522, and let's be exact since we, we have the ability to go out to the, to, to the millisecond. So let's do this. Okay, so now that bounces us forward, and right here is, is by this amount of time we want, we want volume to be back at full volume. So what I'm going to do is zoom in a little bit, and then just, this just moves the cursor, really is all I'm doing there. Um, okay, so let me put a fade point, well actually I want to put a fade point right there, and I want it to be zero gain, and now by looking at this, by, by just hovering, we could see that the position, the time is 1522, uh, 8.34. Uh, at this point, though, we're, we're, we still want, this is, remember, one second before, before it needs to be faded back all the way up. So let's set this at 35. Now what we want to do here is we want to go one second to the right. We want to go to the 23. 23880 here now the cursor right now it, it is at the position where volume should be back to full so I'm going to move this all the way up till the gain is zero and we look at the position time which is 1523881 that's close enough so now I'm going to zoom out and we can take a look so this shows the pattern of what the volume of the background music is going to do between these times. And so this time here, the time that's noted here is 1523.877. So that says by that time the volume's back to, to, to completely 100%. And then when did we start fading out? We started fading out at 1515. And by 1516, it's down to its minimum value. So that's what we want to do. Let's go back to the, to the sequence preview. And the sequence that we're looking at is the master sequence. Let's move the, the sequence preview time before the clip starts to about here. And we should be able to hear the, the background music fade down. So here we go and play it. This is the clip right before. And there's the fade out the background music. Perfect. Now. It, when the clip ends, we should hear the clips that that Bee Gees mu music fade out, and then the background music fade back up. So that's exactly what happened. And now at this stage, when we're looking at 1525, let's go back and look at the clip preview at 1525. One way we can do that is we can select this time, copy it, go to the clip preview, paste that into, into this time, and then we'll jump the cursor. Now we see, so, so now right now, I, what I've done by doing that is synchronize what's shown here and what's on the clip background, and the clip, the clip that we're previewing is the background music. So we can see that we're back to 100% by the time that this slide at this, this stage of the game uh, plays, we're back up. So that's it, that's uh, all I wanted to show.